So halo therapy, is it legit? Let's find out. Grams on a road trip. Now I'm not into gimmicks, but I thought I would give this a shot. I also want to tell you before you listen to anybody online, on YouTube, anywhere, make sure you check with your doctor because that's really what's important. And before you try this device I'm gonna show you, check with your doctor as well. A lot of people go to college for seven years. I know, they're called doctors. So after you open the box, you're gonna have two of them in there. So you're gonna have your Halo 1 device and you're also gonna have your saline capsules. Now, something to keep in mind when you do buy this device, it's gonna come with 30 saline capsules. Each capsule a lot lasts approximately, from what I've been told, 20 minutes. We are gonna test that, so I'll be able to tell you that later in the video. Okay, so with the Halo 1 device, it actually comes with a few different pieces. On the left-hand side, they actually give you a bracket. And what I like about it is they give you a level with it, which is really cool because if you're like me, I want everything extremely level. So being that they give you that, it's a little ingenious little uh, extra feature they give you. They also give you screws, which I'll tell you is very important because if you're gonna screw this into the side of your sauna, wherever you're putting it, you wanna make sure the screws aren't too long. Then of course you have the Halo 1 device. Now it's got a few different buttons on there to turn it on, turn on the lights. Then it also comes with a charging cable. It basically makes it to where this thing becomes more portable. You're not having to plug it into the wall. It's also pretty awesome being that if you're gonna put it in a sauna, you don't wanna have cables running all over the Basically, place. Basically, this bracket's kinda of like the secondary one. So the first bracket, you hang up on the wall, you put the screws in, you get it level. Then this bracket here actually pops over the other bracket and basically sets it up to where, to where you can put your Halo 1 device right over this and it slides right into a groove on the back of the device. So for years, doctors have told me, Eric, if you get sick, the sickness always goes to your chest. So a couple things you're gonna wanna do is use a saline spray, gargle with salt water, and I'm sure other people have been told that as well. But however, in the last couple of years, I'm going, well, let's give that a shot. If it can help symptoms, I'm gonna do whatever. So I started doing the saline spray and gargling with the salt water, and it did wonders for me. So needless to say, when this device came out from Clearlight called Halo One, I was pretty intrigued by it. And I'm thinking, well, you know what? If the saline spray and the other stuff worked, uh, maybe this would actually help with lung function and, and help me in that area as well. Um, the other neat thing about it that I, that I really like is it pairs so well with our sauna because if you've done any research on halo therapy, it all started from the salt caves. We have the Sanctuary 2 and if you haven't seen that video, definitely jump over and check that out. It's one of the most popular videos on our channel and you'll be able to see the size of our sauna and why this will work so well with that and create that salt cave fill. So according to WebMD, Halo therapy is often done in spa-like salt rooms. Also according to WebMD, in the 1800s, salt miners in Poland found a more modern version of what's now halo therapy. Despite working in mines all day, the Polish miners didn't have any respiratory conditions and were unusually healthy. That's what actually really appealed to me with this is because we have a clear light sauna already and clear light came up with this Halo 1 device, it's gonna pair so well, like I was mentioning, with our sauna. Maybe you have a, a small room you wanna set this up to kind of create that at-home salt light cave experience. But what I wanted to find out is how does it work? That was really important to me. And so through my research, that brought me over to the American Lung Association or lung.org. I encourage you to check that website out. Um, one of the articles I read was called Promising per or Placebo Halo Salt Therapy. I had a section from Dr. Norman Edelman. He's a senior scientific advisor to the American Lung Association. As he thinks when fine salt particles are inhaled, they will fall on the airway linings and draw water into the airway, thinning the mucus and making it easier to raise. Um, also, these environments are allergen free and thus good for people with allergies affecting their lungs. According to this article, the scientific community isn't really sure. There are a lot of theories on how from tiny salt particles being inhaled, killing off microorganisms in the lungs, to reducing inflammation and decreasing mucus. Or so even after all the research, really what it comes down to is how do you feel? We're gonna get it set up, we're gonna try it out here, and then we'll come back and give you a review. All right, so one thing that I noticed when I looked online or I read information on the Halo 1 unit is no one really explained where to put it in your sauna. That was always a question for me because I'm a perfectionist and I'm looking at it and I'm going, well, a lot of times I'll sit on the bench with my head facing towards the door or I'll sit on the bench with my uh, back on the backrest with my head facing the other way. But either way, my head is kind of in this vicinity right here. 
So I wanted to make sure the steam, wherever it came out, it was gonna be close to where my head was, right? When I was looking at the sauna, I was going, well, first and foremost, I kinda like the unit in this area. Second though, is should I put the unit over on the right? Well, the thing you have to realize is you've got this tray over here that your sailing capsules are gonna go into. If you have the unit too far to the right, keep in mind, you're not gonna be able to reach in there and pull this out. You'll actually have to take the whole unit off. So basically, what I decided on is it was gonna go in this area. I want it to be lower or higher. Well, of course, if I get up, I'm gonna bang it with my shoulder. I don't wanna do that. Um, I don't wanna hit it with my head. So I figured, well, going a little bit higher would probably be nice. So what I did is I actually measured from the top of the unit down to where the wall mount is. So, but it kind of helped me guide this a little bit. And what I like about the clear light unit here is it's got these little grooves right here in the wall. So I'm actually gonna use this on the back of the unit here. I'm gonna put it in the groove just to kind of give me a guide. I'm just gonna draw a light line up there. That way I know we're gonna be sitting probably approximately in this area right here, which I think All would right, be so good. So the first step when you're setting up your Halo 1 unit is you gotta put up the wall mount. When you set up this wall mount, you're gonna use the four screws that they give you. The question everyone's always gonna have is, will I drill through my sauna wall? I'll tell you what, I don't know, I can't speak for other saunas, but I know if you have a clear light sauna, you're not gonna drill through the wall. Clear light saunas, uh, like the Sanctuary 2 sauna that we have, is two inches thick. And not only that, but the way they designed this wall plate here is a screw sits right inside of there. So you don't actually have to worry about it going through. That takes off about another half inch there. So, so that actually keeps it pretty safe. So. That's good enough. Okay, so I kind of found the vicinity of where I want to put this wall mount here. And I am actually going to use the grooves right here as kind of my guide because it's kind of cool how where the unit's going to be placed. It, I think it looks really good in the sauna there. I've got this leveler here, which is amazing because if you ever hung a picture, it's always nice to have that level, right? Okay, so we got the wall mount placed, we have the bracket on, and now we're gonna install the Clearlight Halo 1 unit to the bracket and slide into these, uh, these grooves right here. The other neat thing about this is it actually has this shelf, which is really cool because I'll tell you what, this is solid in the unit. Um, this thing's not going anywhere. Looks good, looks level. Okay, so the Halo 1's set up. First, what you have to do is take out the saline capsule holder here. So I'm gonna pop that out. Inside, the capsule holder, they actually used to have a setup to where you can't really mess it up here. So you can't go that way, it doesn't fit. You can't go that way. So your only option is that way. Pops right down in there, very simple. What's nice about it is the top is punctured by a little blade inside of the unit here. And then that's how it functions. So you don't have to worry about messing up. Once the one in the middle, that's the power button. You're gonna hold it down for two seconds. And it goes into standby mode. Then you're going to push it again. There's three buttons on the front. You already know the middle button. That's the power one. The one on the left is actually the speed of the mist coming out. So you've got low setting here and you've got high setting. The button on the far right, that's going to be the light button. So right now it's set on like a breath mode. Essentially like it's supposed to mimic like a person breathing if you're trying to meditate or something like that. You click on it again. It's just on continuous. Click up on the top left, this is your timer. And then on the far right over here, you can see these little dots. That is actually the battery life. All right, so the Halo 1 unit is set up and I feel pretty good about it. I think it's set up in the right area. The mist is right, of course, right around my face. This is where it starts. This is where we're gonna run it through the ringer and see what we think about it. All right, so review time. I promised you I'd come back. It's been about two months. I've been using about two to three times per week. My sessions in the sauna are about 25 to 30 minutes. So what I started doing is the last about 12 minutes or so of the sauna, I'd kick the Halo 1 unit on. And uh, that's kind of my time to relax before I get out of the sauna. I've been really happy with it. It's It's been good. I didn't quite know how I was gonna feel. I told you earlier, I'm not really in a gimmick, so I, I do kind of critique it. I'm a little apprehensive about some of the things, but I did like this and I was impressed with it and it made me feel good. First thing, I'm gonna go over some of my experiences with it, which I just want you to know on YouTube. There's tons of anecdotal evidence out there. So, so you're gonna wanna take this information and maybe look information up as well. Maybe talk to your doctor too and uh, see if it's gonna be something for you. But one thing I did notice is breathing. Obviously being that it's a salt therapy or halo therapy type device, it's supposed to help with your breathing. For me, it definitely did that. It wasn't, wasn't even necessarily just throughout the day that I felt improvements in my breathing, but it was also like when I was in the sauna, 
actually, you know, when you're talking 165, 170 degrees, it does get a little harder to breathe. Well, I noticed with this, actually, I could breathe a little bit better in the sauna. Yeah, so I really wasn't even expecting that. I think it does increase the humidity in the sauna just a little bit. It's gonna, you know, make it feel a little hotter even. So on top of the fact that I was breathing a little bit better, was pretty cool. I just assumed maybe that was opening up my lungs some and helping in that area. The other thing too was after I got out of the sauna, of course I was more cleared, you know, cleared up my nose, my lungs. I was able to cough a little bit better. Uh, there isn't times in the mornings where when you wake up and your nose is just plugged. And uh, being that I use a sauna in the morning, sometimes the sauna helps with that as well. But then when I added this unit into the mix, that helped a ton. That was kind of two of the main things that I felt. So I, I thought that would be cool to share that. Clear light really nailed it on some of these things here. First thing is, is the way that you load the machine. I mentioned it earlier, but Clearlight uses these little pods. It's like a saline capsule. These things are ingenious because I'll tell you what, when I was researching other uh, halo therapy units, a lot of times you have to dump the chemical into the unit. This, you just pop that pod in like I showed earlier and you go on your way. Being that I use the sauna in the morning, I do not want to be fumbling around with stuff. I just want to get going, use the sauna. That makes it a lot easier. The other thing that they figured out uh, that I'm impressed with is a lot of times, most units, when you try to use them in a sauna setting, the sauna is too hot and humid for uh, typical dry salts to be used. Clearlight figured that out and they use such a fine particle in the saline solution that it actually gives it time to circulate in the sauna and gives it time for you to inhale, which is really nice. One of the reasons I figured out, and, and this, is, this is according to Clearlight, you can look it up as well, but when they developed that uh, solution, they also developed a membrane that the solution goes through. That membrane is, is what helps keep the particles small to where the particles can sit in the air. One of the things that uh, we were very impressed with is that the, the salt did not cake onto the windows of the sauna. What do we got? There's a phosphorus residue on the wall. And that's a big deal because if you ever used a humidifier or something in your kids' room, you'll know after a while that you'll start getting that film on furniture. That did not happen in here. So when I was reading the literature on the salt clumping and falling and, and clear light saying we use a finer particle, in my mind I was thinking, oh, okay, yeah, I mean, that's probably their marketing thing. But actually, I, I gotta give them credit because that, that solution did not stick to the windows of the sauna. So. Looking at the windows and stuff, you can see how they're still clear and that's after two months of using this. No film inside the sauna. Nothing. Overall, I'll tell you, this Halo One unit has been great. If you are looking to add another tool in your toolbox for your health, maybe using Halo Therapy might be something good for you. If you want to try this out and you want to order your own, a couple things is, is we actually ordered ours from Julie Bishop. Now she doesn't work for Clearlight, she is a dealer for them. I'm always kind of leery on who do we send our viewers to because with the Clearlight sauna that we have, the Sanctuary 2, People, they'd email us and, you know, we want to order one of them saunas too. Who do we go to? So we've been referring them to Julie and, and she's been great. The other thing that a lot of people don't realize too is that uh, as you're using these salt pods and you're going to need to reorder them, she actually does that as well. Like I said, she's been treating our viewers good. And if in this world of the internet age, fortunately, you get a lot of people out there that are not looking out for their customer's best interest. And when you're making big investments like these, you want to talk to somebody that you, you feel comfortable with and it's going to help you out. If you have any questions on that or Julie, reach out to me, let me know. But I will leave a link in the description of the video for her contact information and I'll also put it in the video as well. If this video is helpful for you, subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate that. But, uh, we truly appreciate you watching our video and uh, thank you so much. Hey guys, this is the end of the video. Make sure that you like and subscribe for more great content that is ready to come. Peace out.